Hey, welcome to PCTLATips.com. In today's video, I'm just going to show you what the difference between Octopress and WordPress. Although both are great, but they are really, really different. So, according to my experience of using both of the uh, system, I would recommend Octopress for people who who love how fast it is or how fast you just create your blog inside your computer and then deploy it. Um, in your local computer without logging in into your dashboard or updating your WordPress uh, website if it's updates there or installing plugins to add some um, some modification because uh, Octopress is just simple uh, as blogging platform where you just can blog whatever you like and that's it and in WordPress it has so many uh, flexibility that you can use plugin and uh, very easy to use and yeah, if you want just to look for a blogging system that you just uh, need to blog and leave it, then I suggest you to try Octopus because this is a very nice um, software. So uh, let's let's take a look what difference they have. So I've managed to deploy my Octopus here in my uh, shared hosting inside this directory, and this is the WordPress uh, blog which is I install in the domain name and. Uh, if you're familiar with WordPress, you would create uh, to create uh, WordPress post. You need to log into your dashboard and then create a new post, and that's it. Although you also can uh, use email address to uh, to post your uh, post, but it's not that um, flexible like when you post to Octopress because in Octopress you just can modify. Um, all at once so without in uh, going inside to your dashboard and in uh, in Octopress as you can see it's almost the same you have sidebar and you have menu and so forth and and in fact if I just click on one of the posts uh, it has similar um, permalink like in WordPress and I'll, I also can uh, modify the permalink something like exactly the same like WordPress so the post name and uh, the only difference is that the post format because Octopress use uh, Markdown format and and uh, without using PHP or using databases like in WordPress. So you actually have just Markdown format and that's it. You don't need PHP, you don't need uh, MySQL to install it. So it's uh, basically HTML blocking generator. So uh, yeah, to create a new post in Octopress, you just need to open your terminal so I'm going to open my terminal and I'm going to clear this uh, my terminal and uh, to create posts uh, instead of going to your dashboard in WordPress you can uh, create new posts from here from your terminal and very simple for example write a rate new post which is uh, the comment for uh, creating new posts in Octopress and then square brackets and inside this uh, square brackets double quotes and then you're going to type in the title for example like this is um, Venice Day just a dummy post and then hit enter and it will open um, uh, my text editor file in this case because I just modify my rec file otherwise you would go to theme so uh, I can also choose uh, or create categories from here. The only thing that you miss here in Octopus is that you don't have the categories uh, here inside your uh, post interface. So you, you need to remember what, what categories I have. So for example now I'm just uh, creating the categories for uh, random and then to create new post I'm just going to type in whatever I like here in my um, my text editor here in my computer. I don't need to go to any browser or something. Thank you for watching this video. So for example like this and hit save and when it's save you go back to your um, terminal and I uh, before that I want to show you what kind of a uh, pause at the moment. So it's still uh, have this recent pause and our new pause is not yet there because we just need to rake generate and uh, rate deploy and it's generating our site inside uh, in our computer and then it will deploy our website um, with rsync so I'm going to uh, hit uh, to enter my password 
and now it's um it will be deploying our website to this to this uh, hosting so if i refresh my blog now of course it will have our uh, post that this called this is wednesday so this is the post that we just created with the category random now uh this is also the difference because because uh with octopress you have the whole post that uh, in your web server here in our local machine so you need to install it first in your local machine and then to deploy it to your uh, server or wherever you want to deploy in this case I deploy mine uh, inside this wbdemoblog.octo and all your posts will be stored here in source and then underscore post and here you can as you can see I have marked down a lot of markdown format which is the post and let's take a look in web server so this is actually the WordPress uh, files of the uh, of this website of the WordPress website, and let's take a look what is the structure of Octopress if you deploy it to your web server. So uh, it was in Octo directory, and there it is. It's just a, a a file and folders, and and your blog is actually inside the blogs, and uh, the year and this is Wednesday so there it is and it it has index HTML uh, in your web server because it's generally generating your blog post with index HTML so it's very simple you don't need at uh, PHP and you don't need a uh, database to deploy your octopus and what you have is just file and folders and bunch of HTML file the only drawback is that maybe uh, you will have a lot of uh, folders inside your web server instead of MySQL database but uh, the advantage is that it loads very fast because you you just create blog and it will be generating uh, HTML you don't need another resources like PHP or something like that this is definitely a perfect choice for anyone who just wants to blog fast uh, without uh, worrying about uh, creating uh, inside images and uh, videos although you will also be able to create uh, images to post images and 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 uh, videos here but um, it's very fast because it can be done in your computer and just a few comments and it's published in your website without logging in and and uh, lock out or update your uh, system whenever uh, it has updates because it's just plain HTML generator it doesn't need any updates anything something like that it's very simple so that's it guys today in uh, I hope it can uh, be a help if you are now considering Octopress and moving from WordPress to Octopress so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video goodbye